in the house of God one more time. Protocol has already been established, but I would like to just thank God the Father for without him I wouldn't be here. I'd like to thank my bishop, Bishop Sean Barton.
Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. Sunday morning message today. The call to purpose. The call to purpose. In the text behind God said, he went to Eli. And he's about to be given immediate instructions. Because Samuel had a leader who was wise enough to understand that God was calling him and something supernatural was happening to him. Amen. Mm -hmm. We can understand said that Samuel, because he followed the instructions from Eli, by him going back to lie down in his place, God came and spoke again. Mm -hmm. Say to God, in order for God to call you, you have to be in position. Yeah. When I was really studying this word, I wanted it to make it easy for you guys to understand. So I call it the three B's. Mm -hmm. Number one, be in position. Mm -hmm. Number two, be still. Mm -hmm. And number three, be ready. Mm -hmm. You got to be in position, and the position I'm talking about today is waiting on God. Mm -hmm. We find Samuel in the first verse, starting chapter three, that he ministered unto the Lord before Eli. Samuel, old Samuel, had been in position by serving God in the temple. Eli was telling Samuel to go back to lie down because that was his place of waiting. Young people, for those of you who have jobs, you already know that for you to move up in the position that you want or that you desire, you have to work your way up to get that position you desire. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. More importantly, not just work your way up there, but you have to wait mm -hmm. for that position you want or you desire to become available. Not just to the young people, but to the children and to the teenagers. If you want a certain toy or you desire a pet, your parents tell you you have to wait. Mm -hmm. They say that because either they can't afford it in that time frame or they want you to work for it yes. by doing your jobs. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's how God sees us. If we get in position in our place of waiting on God by serving Him and He sees we are faithful and committed in what we are doing, He will place us in a place where from we were in our life to a place we are supposed to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. He'll put you in a, a much better situation. Because you were in position in your place on waiting on the Lord. Yeah. Oftentimes we move ourselves out of position because of things that we do as human beings and the lack of patience. Mm -hmm. And because of this, we can move out on something God is wanting to give to us. Hallelujah. We say to God, are able to listen to the voice of God because we are too busy listening to our own voice. Yeah. Young people, we you must be in position and you have to be in that place of waiting on God for the Lord to call you. Amen. You have to position yourselves, young people, in your place of waiting on God. You'll be able to hear and listen for when the Lord calls. Mm -hmm. Don't quit. Yeah. I repeat, don't quit, don't quit 
on what you're doing for God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Do not throw in the towel. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Stay in position. In that place of waiting on God. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to listen to the voice that calls you. Which brings me to the second point. Like I said, you must be in position. You must be still. We find Samuel in verse 10 listening to what Eli told him to do, which was to go back and lie down. Hallelujah. For you to be called by God, you have to be still. We see in verse 9, hallelujah, Samuel standing still listening to Eli's instructions. We as young people, we can't be doing so much that we can't hear the voice of God. Amen. We move a lot every day, 24 seven. But in Samuel's case, hallelujah, he was still. Oh God, when God came and called Samuel, he was lying still in his bed in one position. In one position. Young people, when you go to sleep at night, you try to stay in one position. Some of you may be able to lay on your right or left side, and the others may be able to lay on your back or the stomach, but how many of us can actually say we stay in one place when we go to sleep? Hallelujah. God wants us to stand still. Mm -hmm. I'll be that again. God wants us to stand still. Mm -hmm. Because, thank you, Father. He wants us to stand still just like a tree so that we can be able to listen and hear his voice when he calls. Which brings me to my last point. Like I said, you must be in position. You must be still. Lastly, you must be ready. Uh -huh. If I told you for the Lord to call you, you must be ready. Yes. We can see because Eli instructed Samuel in the appropriate manner on how to respond God, for thy servant hearing, God came and spoke again. Because Samuel heard the instructions from Eli to go back and lie down, he was ready to answer God in the right manner. We have to be ready when God calls us on people. Because he wants to use us for his glory. Sometimes the instructions may not be to preach, to sing, or to even teach. The instructions God may tell you may be to pray for your unsaved loved ones. Go to the hospital and visit the sick. Or to even go to the homeless to feed them on the soup dishes. Hallelujah. You have to be ready to receive the instructions when God comes to you and shares with you when he calls you. Amen. Bishop Bartley is a man of God, hallelujah, who is a leader that has the anointing to help and can identify. Yes. Hallelujah. Who is calling you? Samuel was ready to be used by God. Hallelujah. He wasn't just in position, and nor was he just still. He was ready. Can we say the same about ourselves and people? Are we ready to be used? He's calling us. Young people. He's calling us from people. 
He wants to heal. Don't get me honest, he's saying that one. Get in your prayer closet, wherever you pray. 